Okay, okay, here we go. Let's go, let's go. Movie time. Let's do this. Hello guys, welcome back to... Oh, wait there, I need to take these off. This is... I'm actually not Kylo Ren. These are pretty cool though. Uh, Star Wars, real D, 3D. Yeah, pretty cool. Anyways, hello guys, welcome back to another video and another video on this channel. This is a new channel, uh, Movies with... James, if you know me from um, youtube.com slash James Ash, my main channel, I do vlogs, talk about technology and, uh, and all that good stuff. But I want to start this channel to talk about my passion, movies, and um, you know, basically just connect with a different type of audience. People that are connected in the same way as me in terms of have the same interests as me and you know, learn more as well. Like there's loads of films, as I'm sure you'll see on this entire journey, there's loads of films that I haven't seen that are like true classics that I need to see. So today we are getting into a setup tour. Basically the first video on the channel is a good one to get into how I actually watch my movies. Um, and I just basically use my phone. I use my phone with a pair of cheapy one pound headphones and no, I'm kidding, I'm kidding. I don't, I don't do that. I have a TV set up behind me, so let's get into it. It's gonna be a vlog showing you guys exactly how I watch my movies. So here we go, here is my actual setup uh, TV wise and then I got some speakers obviously, we will get into all this now. Uh, my entertainment stand is basically from Ikea, I move this out you can see this. Um, yep, Ikea when it matches my desk which is over there. Um, you guys know if you've seen the vlogs this is basically my room and I've uh, been developing this office space um, over the past month, few months. Uh, and then here then you can see I'm an avid gamer. So I've got uh, PlayStation and Xbox there and a vinyl player and all my vinyls at the top. But we're going to get into all this uh, bit by bit. So I'll start from left to right, I guess. I do just want to say a disclaimer that I am doing some work in this room. So if you do some things, see some things in the background, you can see there. Um, I'm doing some work, so, so bear with it. So one of my most favourite things for watching movies and, and managing a system like this is, you know, you're going to need some sort of receiver. Uh, this is my new receiver that I've actually picked up uh, about a month ago now, maybe three weeks ago. Uh, you can see this is the Denon uh, receiver. This is the X2700H. Uh, this is a new receiver that's actually came out, I think, about 10 months ago, maybe even 11 months ago. Um, and you can see the big feature there in the middle uh, is 8K video, but 4K 120 and VRR support, which uh, basically supports uh, 120 hertz 4K for PlayStation 5 and the Xbox, and why I got this one. So yeah, there's my receiver. It's a seven channel receiver, and I'm actually running a Dolby Atmos setup on this. I'm actually running a 5.1.2 setup. Uh, more on those speakers in a little bit, but that's my setup. Everything's pulled into here. You can see all the cables there. Yeah, it's actually quite messy, actually. There's a lot of cables coming from there. Um, yeah, but on top is my hard drives, uh, which I've stuck to the top for my PlayStation and Xbox, so that's what they are. But yeah, it's uh, it's really, really nice. I actually really enjoy using a receiver. It gives you a lot more information. As you above that, PlayStation Xbox. I don't use these for movies, these are just purely for gaming. We also then touched on my uh, record player. And at the top, I've got a PlayStation 3. Uh, why have I got PlayStation 3, James? You know, it's uh, why. This is a special PS3. Uh, it basically plays PS1 and PS2 and PS3 games. So this is basically multi-purpose. So we're not getting into any media today. You know, none of these, like my DVDs and stuff down there. We're not going to get into all these. We're going to look at that in a different video, obviously. So if I actually sit down, I've got my seat here. I actually sit here uh, and watch my movies. Um, you can see, here it is. This is a 55 inch uh, LG OLED TV. I love this TV. It's a 4K TV does obviously support the full 4K 120Hz, but from a movie point of view, it's very, very good. The blacks are just super deep and just, it's very, very good for, well, for all the good movies that you need to watch. Below that then, I've got my uh, three channel, there's three of the channels uh, that I've got here, three of the seven anyway. So we've got uh, my, my front left and my front right, obviously, and then I've got my center channel, which basically powers everything. And then up here then, we've got my height left, and then I've got my height right. Uh, they act as my height speakers, even though they're at the front. Previously, they were my front, right, and left, but having the seven channels allowed me to, you know, gain an extra two speakers in the front. So now if we look at my rear speakers, uh, this is where these really are in the worst place they could be. They need to be more year level um, from where I sit, but obviously I've got the door there, I've got the corner there, the door wouldn't even open if um, if this wasn't up there. And then same here, I've got the window, um, and I'm gonna be putting some things here anyway, some storage, so it doesn't really work. So I've opted for these to the rear speakers, uh, the surround speakers to be higher up. It's not the best experience, but it's 
walls are not really that bad. Um, the room situation is what it is and just something I gotta deal with. So all the speakers basically have the same type of design. I went for white basically, you know, you can see my aesthetic in here. I've got white and like this light wood and the same on my desk over there. So you can see here, I've gone for a white speaker in on these and they're really, really nice. I really like how stylish they are. They've also got like a leather uh, top. I'm not sure if you can see, yep, there it is. There's like a leather uh, casing on them and they're really, really premium, very, very nice speakers. Under the desk over there then you can see is my sub woofer. Uh, that is a really powerful subwoofer. It's actually way too overpowered for my current living situation. Um, I live next, my, my neighbors are literally through that, through that wall. So I have to be really, really cautious of the base. So these speakers actually came in for about, I think they're like 399, I think they were. Um, but I had to buy an additional two, which was an extra hundred. So about 499, 500 for the full seven, seven system as well as, you know, including the sub. So it's not too bad. The amp actually came in at about 630. So you know, all in, the setup I'm currently running in terms of speakers is, is a grand um, all in. So that's how I get my sound and that's how I get my picture for my movies. I really, really enjoy um, enjoying these speakers, enjoying anything about it. Having an extra two speakers as well is really, really good. But now how I actually play my movies. What type of devices do I use? I've got a few remotes here. I've got a few devices you can see here, but let's actually get into it. So on the left hand side here, you can see I've got a Panasonic DPUB450. This is a 4K uh, Ultra HD player. Um, which also, oh god, it's really dusty, I apologize for that. Um, yeah, it's an Ultra HD player. Uh, I actually picked this up recently on eBay. Uh, it's a second-hand purchase. I'm really pleased with this. Um, it's, it performs quite well. Um, the remote as well is pretty basic, but it does the job. Above that, then, you can see I've got an NVIDIA Shield. This is my remote for the NVIDIA Shield. It actually lights up the remote. Really nice. A new purchase of mine. I'm trying this out. I'm debating this over the Apple TV, um, but I'm... I, I am really liking it so far. It's really, really speedy um, and it does a lot as well. So that's pretty good. I also watch a lot of football up here. So I've got a sky box, which basically is like, you know, plays live TV and stuff. It's a cable box. And then I also have an Apple TV, um, which I, was my main driver, but I'm trying the shield out and I'm debating the Apple TV, but I, I, I'm seeing a use case where I need both. So I might do a video on this. And then when I'm sat in my room, I'm sat here on this, uh, this couch. This is basically just an Ikea couch. I think it's like 50 bucks, something like that. Pretty cool. Um, I, I tend to we tend to sit here. Me and my girlfriend will we'll watch movies um, in here. I've got the, these blackout blinds which were here when we moved in. These work really well. It gets super dark in here at like the brightest point of the day, which obviously is great when you want to watch movies. And then I've got some posters there to finish off the room. So I've currently got a Mandalorian poster in there. There's also a few posters in there. Um, there's quite a few actually behind that one, but I'm rocking the Mandalorian there. We've got Wonder Woman above me, and then on this side I've got The Force Awakens. I'm actually due to change my posters. I think I did it about a year ago now. And I don't like to, you know, keep the same ones for so long. So I might, uh, you might be seeing them change throughout the videos, or we might change them um, on the videos together. But in a nutshell, that's basically how I watch movies in my room. Um, I really, really love my setup. I actually, I'm really proud of it. Like, it's taken a long time to, to get to this point. You know, the, the, the amount of speakers, I've got seven speakers in this small room. I'm absolutely loving it. It's it's really great. Um, the, as I said, the sub is way too overpowered probably for the room, but better to be overpowered than underpowered, hey? And then one thing to just finish off, I guess, you know, in this room, I do have to use this for work. I'm currently working from home. I'm, I'm using my PC there, and then I've also got um, my Mac set up there. So I always have to have a desk in this room. This can never solely be a movie room. This is an office come cinema room, you know? But yeah, there's my TV. There's everything. I absolutely love this TV. LG C10. It's an amazing... Uh, amazing piece of kit and it's a great great tv for watching movies as well as gaming it just does everything that i wanted to do but there it is there is my room there is how i watch movies i uh, hope you guys enjoyed this first video it's just basically more of a techie video i guess looking at what equipment i use i thought it was quite a good intro video to show everybody on this channel what i'm all about and what uh type of stuff i'm watching movies on and going to be reviewing movies on and stuff stay tuned for another video coming on monday um it's going to be it's really good and actually i just filmed it today so i'm going to edit that now and get that uploading scheduled for monday um i hope you guys enjoyed stay tuned and also follow me on all the socials linked down below so thanks for watching guys and i'll see you guys real soon goodbye